Remember the tough guy version of Paulo Costa trying to intimidate his opponents? Neither do we. trying to finish here. The new, evolved version of Costa dropped his macho persona and simply decided to be himself. Sure enough, it's the comeback of the year, and fans are actually taking a liking to him. From being an MMA villain to one of the funniest guys on the roster, Costa's fame has skyrocketed big time. No more candy, big boy. I told you, you don't hear me. Just secret juice for you now, okay? To be strong and jacket. No more candy. Okay. I want you. Secret juice. You're probably curious how all this came about within such a short period of time. Well, fight fam, let's get into it. First and foremost, he dropped his buddy and former manager Walid Ismail. Walid is a mixed martial arts legend. But he fights. Dude, he fought in UFC 12. Really? Yeah, he fought uh, Takahashi, is that who he fought? Maybe it was 13, UFC 12 or 13. Dude, he choked out Hoist Pull Gracie in a jiu-jitsu match Straight. in Rio. When Hoist Gracie had just won all the UFCs and he was a fucking man. And he fought him in Rio Walid jiu Ishmael, who was a Carlson Gracie black belt. The one who was always angry, threatening, and trying to be intimidating. They used to be a duo that came straight out of the Dumb and Dumber movie. The funniest thing about them was that oftentimes Ismail had a role of a translator for Costa, even though his English was just as broken as his. What's up, Las Vegas? He's not. He not have. He not has. He hasn't a bad. He has in a good mindset, he has bad mindset, his mindset, you know? They would send threats and try to initiate fights, but instead, they were laughed at and made fun of. One hilarious example was when Costa was trying to explain how Brazil has many retired legends. When Costa asked how the word is pronounced in English, Walid replied retarded instead of retired. Brazil will have many legends, but many legends is like a... Uh, uh, it's retired. The it's retired. Is yes. Uh, the punter, no, the punter, the, the painter is the fight. The, the guy who fight against Jeremy. Who is his name? What's the uh, the guy? Yair. Yair. Yair Rodriguez. Yeah, the painter. The painter. Paulo Costa has appointed his girlfriend of ten years, Tamara Alves, as his new manager, and so far it looks like it was a great move. Just to have different views about my career. Because of that, we decided not to work together anymore. Talking about his fiance and managing him, Costa went in to say I have a very important person who helps me a lot. She's already been talking to UFC, she's already been exchanging these ideas. He went on to say she is a person of extreme trust in mine and her name is Tamara Alves. She has been able to show the happy and genuine side of him. And thanks to her, his YouTube channel has really become something else. She's just out there, filming his content and captivating his personality and juicy scenes like the altercation between Costa and Shimaev. So, what's another thing responsible for Costa's glow-up? He finally learned some English. Gone are the days of his epic tough guy trash talk fails. His face, you know, and kick, kick his ass. The guy, he sucks in English. A shit, that fight was a shit. I will make him cry. I will slap his face. And I saw, saw uh, Chris Weidman, Chris Weidman hometown in New York, November, to see who must to go to next tire shot after Gaston. May I put uh, uh, all your fingers, all his fingers inside. Ow. These days, his new and improved English is used to step up his social media game, becoming one of the greatest trolls the MMA Twitter sphere has ever witnessed. Costa turned into a troll god. His Instagram and Twitter accounts are hilarious with the funny memes he makes about himself and the other fighters. What a scene!
tries to roast as many people as he can in his replies. No one is safe. Not even Dana White. He is definitely the frontrunner of the biggest troll MMA page right now, and his tweets are constantly making headlines. Now, let's get into this secret juice. Let's be honest, Costa looks like one of the most suspect guys in the league for steroid use. Only in MMA will you see a fighter suspected by so many to be using performance-enhancing drugs openly taunt the USADA by constantly carrying around a bottle labeled Secret Juice. He looks like the perfect antagonist. He's big, bulky, juice to the fucking gills. So when I come in there with some Bruce Lee shit, come on. It's like, oh my god, wow, he beat that big muscle boy. Instead of being defensive, he embraced those claims. The phenomena broke into the mainstream when Costa brought the bottle with him all throughout UFC 278 Fight Week. <laughs> this secret is here, you know? Secret juice make a lot different in my, my life. I put a lot of ingredients there. Uh, we have uh, cucumber, we have uh, ginger, lemon, and some of the stuff that is secret. That's why it's secret too. <laughs> Most notably, during weigh-ins, along with a special message to Usada. <laughs> This was in retaliation to the USADA coming to collect his blood samples while he was in the middle of a weight cut. Needless to say, this act brought him, and Secret Juice, a ton of fans and even some impersonators. The Italian guy, oh, I don't believe that. How you get this? No, 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 no. How you get this? Is this a real one? Go to this camera right here for me. Who? In the back, Connor. This is not the real one. This is the fake one. The fake one. <laughs> and the real ones. Paulo Costa has made quite the fan base for himself lately, thanks to his clever callouts. Yeah, I think because he's on hype. Yeah. I I still I stole some some his hype. Sure. I stole his his, his night sleep. I stole his cap. Yeah. I stole his main event fight. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You think I you're stole the reason? Everything. Shimaev, you need to do something, motherfucker. I still I stole everything that you had. His call out challenging Liver King to a competition got him battling it out for the first time ever in a raw liver eating competition. Although Liver King smashed the competition, props to Costa, who is really understanding how to expand his following and keep things interesting. Along with his marketing genius of a manager girlfriend, they were able to change the whole trajectory of his career, which is quite rare in the MMA world. It turned out that the only thing Paulo Costa had to do is be himself, make people laugh, and with that, reach the peak of his popularity. No matter what direction his fighting career would go, one thing is for sure. Paulo Costa became an undeniable cult superstar and is one of the funniest, most likable fighters on the UFC roster. We are lucky to be fight fans during this era, let alone his online meme accounts, but every interview and each press conference would be a goldmine for MMA fans whenever Costa is involved. <laughs> Moral of the story? Sometimes you don't need to pretend to be someone else, because your true self is what people will always like the most. So, which version of Paulo Costa are you guys feeling more? The angry version with will lead his male as his guide. I want to kill you. I want to kill you. Or the new, funny and genuine version with his girlfriend as the orchestrator. Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.